Hello folks, Abtailer here, back with my second Minecraft video of the evening, and that's because the launcher is prompting me to get a new and improved launcher uh, from the Microsoft Store. And also Carnage, who I play Minecraft with, suggested I do this video. A lot of people aren't happy about it. 2.6 on the reviews and lots of complaints on Twitter. So just starting off then with this process, the Microsoft Store, what's going on here? Like, it's so not clear where I download it from. If I click that included with Game Pass, it tries to charge me. So instead, you need to click on the Get From Xbox app, which I've never used in my life. But anyway, it's really not clear. Not clear at all, unless you uh, click on it and get a bit further. So I can click on Get Free, and then it opens this screen. And from here, I I can't do anything. There's, there's nothing I can click on. Oh no, wait, if I click expand and maximize it, there's a button down here. Is it that hard to put a scroll bar on there? Seriously? What's going on, Microsoft? Okay, so it's downloading, I think. It's just prompted me for admin rights. That's why, why the screen has gone black there. Uh, downloading 0% view progress. Okay, maybe maybe we can take a look at some of the reviews while this downloads. I don't know how big it is, but I mean, it's not going particularly quick. So let's take a look at some of the reviews. Okay, here we go then. Uh, leave the launch where it was. Why did you move it here? Uh, five stars, but I can't play. Oh, no, wait, I've solved it. Uh, you can't install it on an external fir uh, fixed drive. Uh, I have a bug. Can't install Minecraft native launcher, and I can't play. New launcher is broken. Uh, Bruh. The launcher fails to even install. Why? I hate the Microsoft Store. I agree with that one. And now essentially forced into it. You're not really forced into it at this point. And garbage, it doesn't even install yet another useless Microsoft thing. That seems fair because um, I have no idea what's going on. It now says starting 0% view progress. Um, so, um, yeah. I... I don't know what's going on here. Can I still launch the original game? The original launcher? Let's check this out. So, good news is I can still use the original launcher. Bad news is it seems to have stalled. So I'm going to pause it and then I'm going to resume all because it appears to be a 10 meg download. So that should be, even with my awful internet, which is like 30 meg, it should be seconds. Should be seconds. So there's something gone wrong there. So if I pause it and now I can't do anything, let's uh, let's see if that resolves itself. Which after pausing and then eventually being able to resume, it's now gone through quickly. So I don't really know what had gone wrong there. So now it's downloaded. Let's see if we can launch this thing finally. Okay, it finished installing and I got a prompt in the bottom right hand corner there. I can just click the launch button and we should be good to go. Okay, here we go. And uh, yeah, I installed that gaming service thing it was moaning about. Okay, so now it's doing a second download. This looks eerily familiar. This doesn't look like it's changed all that much. So we'll let this finish. And here we go. We got the launcher and uh, so I can do my Microsoft logged in because I'm a good boy. I've migrated both my accounts and uh, there's my rather confusing second nickname. And actually, no, you know what? I've got, so I've got two accounts. That's not the right one. We'll log in anyway. The experience should be the same. We'll see what's going on. So, okay, up the top there, I, I can't add a second account. And all my, all my game profiles have gone. So I had much more than that. I play with Fabric. I have multiple snapshots. There is literally, they've all gone. Okay, but that is the exact same folder. The, so that's the exact same folder that the original Minecraft launcher uses. So something must have changed that's removed all my profiles. All my mods and stuff are still there. So it hasn't deleted anything. Well, it has, I say it hasn't deleted anything. It's clearly deleted that. Okay, all, my, all the versions of the game that I have are still there. So the fabric release is still there. So I can create uh, the, the fabric release. That's not a problem. So it's just... Must be a config file or something that's changed. So I'm going to go ahead and just create up my uh, my normal profile there, and uh, I think we're good. Okay, skins. Let's check that out. That uh, wait, where's my cape? I I migrated my account. I got my free cape. It's 
and I've already added it. Okay, so that's missing as well. Okay, all the snapshots and stuff are in there. That's patch notes. Okay, if I click the snapshots button, I get the uh, the latest snapshot. That's good. So okay, so we're we don't have a way to add a second account, and I've lost all my game profiles. I'm going to have to now recreate. Okay, I'm going to have a little play around. See if I can. Uh, I can't add. So I can't add two Microsoft accounts. I've got to switch. Well, that's a that's a backward step. That's not great. Okay, so yeah, you definitely can't have two Microsoft accounts logged in at once. You have to go through a switching account process, which is just slow and painful compared to the old launcher. So that's a massive backward step. Don't upgrade to the new launcher if you've got two accounts. You can still use the other launcher though. Anyway, on the screen, two JSON files. On the left is the new one, on the right is the old one. This is why I'm missing my profiles. When you put the new launcher in, it creates a brand new file with nothing in it. Now I suspect I could copy and paste the info in, but I'm a little bit worried about doing that. I might take a backup and try it. Anyway, percent app data percent will get you to this file, uh, folder, apologies, and then it's those two files, the, the Microsoft Store one and then the old one as well, if you wanna have a mess with, uh, with that, if you have that problem. But other than that, I appear to be able to launch the game I can, uh, I can still change the icon of my profiles. I've got to create those profiles again. Um, but yeah, overall, like if I was to give this process a marks out of 10, it's it's like a three at best. I mean, the what the Microsoft Store is confusing. Like, how, how do I get this for free? It tries to force you down the paid route, which in my opinion is pretty disgusting. The Xbox Game App apparently hasn't heard of a scroll bar. Um, the Xbox game app download barely worked. I had to fiddle around to get that to work. I can no longer have two accounts signed in at once with this new launcher. The icon, which I've just taken off screen for some reason on this new launcher is tiny. I, I don't even know why. Um, do I have anything positive to say about this? No, 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 I don't. So, um... Maybe three out of ten was a bit high. Maybe maybe one out of ten. Let's hope they improve in future. This this has not been a pleasant update, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm Abfielder. That's all I have time for. Goodbye.